Good morning. We're back at the uh, pond where we're fitting a new liner today. I say we, it's just me actually today and the customer himself who's helping me out. So yesterday we came and we started this pond and we're gonna reline it. What was happening is it's an old pond uh, about 30 odd 35 years old done in concrete concrete was painted painted come off it had been replaced repaired numerous times it just kept flaking off so the customer decided we'll give it a try with a liner instead so that's why we're here yesterday we came we emptied all this lot out stored the fish into those two vats over there let's have a check on those fish see how they're doing hopefully they'll be okay i'm sure they will you probably won't be able to see them no you can't see them in there they've been in there overnight it's a 500 gallon vat that one so they'll be down on the bottom this one this is where we put the big fish you can just about make out the outline of some of these big fish there's about four big fish in there actually one large grass carp a uh, medium-sized sturgeon and a couple of koi that's in there and today what we've got to do is we've got to continue the preparations for the liner coming in so that means we're going to be doing some level checks to try and see where the original pond line sits and we're going to have to raise up this area here with an additional wall a, a makeshift wall really that's going to stand on top of this internal pond wall this part of the pond is going to be sacrificed because this is just going to become a bog garden and the idea is there when this is full of water some of the water will seep in and it will keep these plants saturated with the sufficient water that they need so we're going to press on i've been started already pumping all those blocks around and sand and cement because it's just me here today i've had plenty of exercise and i'm already out of breath we'll see how it goes keep watching done is we've set up a level across the pond we just built this makeshift pillar in the middle here and to check the levels we're running this nice piece of straight timber across and what we're trying to do is check where the level is on the pond it's going to need a bit of work because it's it's quite uneven but we do need to try and get it as close to level as possible. Let's go all the way around there. It's a big pond, isn't it? This. Big. And then across here is where we're going to have to build the... Uh, well, it's going to be a continuation of this internal pond wall, actually. We're going to mortar it together. We've got some blocks, some bricks, all sorts of things we're going to need to go across there. What we've got to do is raise this up so that it's the same level as the rest of the pond. Any fine adjustments with the level, we'll probably be able to make that when the line is actually in by slipping some thin pieces of 
slate or some thin slabs we're quite fortunate on this job because there's an abundance of pieces of natural stone old building materials um, originally the pond had this fabulous waterfall now we're not going to be restoring that at this stage it goes all the way up here three four levels and we have, do have access to all these materials if they're needed to complete this project So I've not had my young helper today to help me. So the progress has been a little bit slower, but we have managed to get the wall finished. This is a combination of breeze block and natural stone that we've recycled and put into use. It's not the prettiest looking wall in the world, not the prettiest looking wall in the world, but it's very, very strong. It's going to do a great job rolling that water back. It's also reasonably level. I've been checking it using my system here. And I'm sure it's going to be perfectly uh, adequate for the job. So we've also been round and checked the rest of the edge of the pond. And that's all pretty good. That's the original edge. We've just cleared off all of the loose cement and mortar and what have you. Now, next time... We're going to be doing some final preparations. This wall, with it being natural stone, uh, it's got some big indentations in it, so I'm not confident we can just put a liner straight up against that. So what I'm thinking we're going to have to do is get some more sand and cement and try and push it into some of these cracks and try and smooth it out a little bit. And then we're going to felt it with several thicknesses of felt to make sure that the liner is properly protected. We'll be working on that next time. Today, we've got the level right. And this is a, a crude way of checking the level, but it works. I don't know if I can do it one-handed. Let's try Get the level down. I'll just show you. So no fancy lazy level, um, laser levels, just a nice straight edge, good old fashioned piece of wood with a spirit level on it. You're not going to get much better than that. And check it the other way. across about what 12 foot so that's not too bad it's probably out by about half a centimetre in fact there's a bit of the render still left on there I have to break that off next week when this pond was done I think it must have been poured in several sections you can see the concrete joins there or whether they've done that to allow it for expansion or just whether they couldn't pour sufficient concrete in one go could be a combination of reasons I guess but that is highly likely one of the points where this pond has failed 
Uh, I doubt very much there'd be any kind of like waterproof membrane behind this pond. There is some polythene there, but that's actually uh, on the lawn side and that doesn't go behind the pond. I think if this had been done with a good membrane behind it, then we probably wouldn't be here today doing this. So we'll leave it for there today. Oh, let's just check on the fish. <clears throat> what we're going to be doing is a regular partial water change for the fish. Got some fresh water coming in there. That's going to make sure that it stays fit and healthy for them while they're in these vats. Had it have been the summertime, then I probably would have set up some kind of simple filter on this. But I'm not too worried at all because it's almost uh, what you'd call winter and the fish are really dormant so I'm completely confident that they're going to be fine. I'm going to be watching the water anyway, keep an eye on the nitrites and the ammonia and the pH and what have you. So we'll leave it for there for today. Hope that you enjoyed watching the video. Please consider subscribing for the, to the channel. And next time, we're going to be putting the liner in the uh, customer's pond. Thank you very much.